Um, so, the next morning, all of you awaken. Um, actually, I was doing something, so I thought she was going to search for the turn. So, and then uh, I figured we were all meeting where we went to sleep, except for the new wizard who would be at his house. Okay. And I had wanted to uh, talk about the blacksmith ink uh, item. Sure. We, you can do that. Go right ahead. Okay, cool. Uh, so, uh, so, while I was at, uh, Blacksmith Inc. asking about, uh, Arius, they, uh, they seem to know all about this, uh, problem that I have, and offered me, you know, that, uh, would prevent it. But, uh, the downside is that, uh, is that, uh, my mind could go blank when somebody tries to influence me with mind magic, and, uh, I assume that would be, mean that I would have some sort of, like, fight or flight reaction type thing. They were not able to provide me more info. I mean, we. S I know, I know this is obviously causing problems for us, but we we saw what what the last artifact that that a powerful artifact. That we have these shirts, but these shirts seem tame compared to some of these things that they create. That uh, the last artifact we saw nearly got you killed. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've created a lot of useful stuff, like even the Stormlord's tent they were talking about. But, uh... I, yes, I, I feel like where I get worried with them is when they start saying what side effects is they tend to underestimate or underreport what the side effects of these things are. I'm, I'm nearing completion on your armor. I, I don't, I don't, I can't promise it will work as well as that, but it could at least be an intermediate between that and, you know, putting yourself at risk of whatever side effects this thing could happen. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel that it could be worth the risk, but, uh, I'm, I'm certainly willing to, uh, wait and see if the armor... Before going after an item with potential risky side effects. Did they give you a time frame? They did not. It's just a standing offer then. I'd say it's, it's up to you. But uh, my, my suggestion is we take the safe route for now. And if it's not good enough... Maybe we have to take the risky offer at some. I know you uh, you value your mind and you value your memories. So if this causes some sort of memory lapses or other things, uh, you know that could have long term effects on your uh, your psyche as well, right? Yeah, I mean before. T going the riskier route like that, it makes sense to uh, wait and see if the armor gives me the protection I need. I agree. But, but if the armor does not work, then we might have to consider something like this item. <clears throat> I, I look at you, uh, Erevos, and I, I, do you have Am I here? I thought he was or... waiting until I left. Yeah, oh, wait. I was... oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, I'm not here. Yeah, I was waiting for, until for, for, all of perhaps... us were meeting and he had gone to his house. Yes, perhaps we needed... If we need to test the armor, perhaps we could ask uh, uh, the Archmage, or we could ask Arvos if he has any spells of that sort to test it. But if not, we, we can just go on good faith for now. At least from what I've studied, the armor should certainly help, but it, we still don't fully understand how powerful your uh, 
your foe is, do we? We just know he's stronger than us, most likely. Well, it seems Arachnus fears him. Yeah, if Arachnus feels him. <laughs> feels him. <laughs> I feel him. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. If Arachnus, if Arachnus <laughs> fears him, we should probably uh, take that as a very grave warning, because Arachnus, his magic ability is far exceeding. Heraclus. <clears throat> Herac no, you, that's you, what you, I would. You yeah. guys know I never pronounce anything. Like, <laughs> we're, we're still going to Beowulf. Kazrim. <laughs> yep. Beowulf, that great, uh, that great poem from history. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let me know if I need to. Who was it that called it Bowie World or whatever? <laughs> Okay, I did not do that one. I'm not that bad. <laughs> that sounds like a Tom thing. <laughs> Bowie World. <laughs> Bowie World. Instead of, instead of giving you a stamp they, on your hand, they give you like a little lightning bolt stamp on your face. <laughs> oh, sorry. Distracting my own game. All right. So, were you two planning to go to the temple at night, or were you gonna wait till the next morning? Mm, if it's super late, I'll probably wait till the next morning. Okay. Yeah, I'm in no hurry. So, on all the cool rituals they do at night. Yeah. I mean, it would be neat to go to a temple of, of uh, Delanrian at night, right? Yeah. I I'm almost tempted. Uh, probably shouldn't. <laughs> this, this is how. I mean, they'll, they'll offer to help you out with your Arius problem if you talk to them about it. Oh, hey, we have an augury. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but we won't use it. Don't worry. Yeah, no. No, that's why I mentioned it. We'll use it, but then we'll word it incorrectly. So that way, <laughs> that's we... how we screw it up this time. Uh, yeah, can we augury before I go talk to the ghost and ask if we auguried, <laughs> would we have been okay? <laughs> yeah, my head. Then, we, then we enter like a time loop. Go. Um, no, I, I'm good to go the next day. I, okay. All right. So the next morning comes. Um, um, Aravos, you get a uh, apparition of Iraklis at your door in the morning. Um, and yet not like knocking at your door or like, you know, coming into your house. Like literally standing in your doorway, like as you get up and you start moving about. He's just, like, standing there at the door. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't know how long I've been interning for him for, but I, I'd imagine I'd be used to this. Yeah, this is this is kind of like a, yeah. like a routine thing. He'll just pop up, like, one day you're out, like, buying some things, and he just, like, appeared next to you, and he was like, hey, we need to talk. <laughs> what is it? This group that you're going to be traveling with, they're rather sensitive. Very rough around the edges, I could tell. Yeah, they tend to be a little bit afraid of everything. And I mean everything. Lions, <laughs> tigers, bears. So... It's a dangerous world. I would suggest taking caution when talking to them. Um, I often make sure that I am very careful, that I am very clear with them when I talk. Because they get very confused very easily. Their emotions get in the way. And they just don't get where I'm going. Yes. The There's other thing is... Yeah. Sorry. No, you go on. Okay. They are going to be meeting up at the temple shortly. Ah. At least two of them are. It's a good idea if you try to get close to Maldronicus. He needs to know that he can trust you. As much as I know, I can trust you. Very well. They are going to be, I believe, meeting at the Temple of Delamrian. They just kept saying temple. It's very confusing. I hate when they're not clear. <laughs> Assume people are listening, damn it, and speak clearly. Yes, uh, I'm, a sh I'm a little disappointed none of them were elves. It's a little disheartening talking with lesser beings, but... 
Well, half orcs are not bad people, and that hobgoblin has potential. You might find that she's quite an interesting one. Ah. She's, I would say, close to your level and ability. A little bit different, but close. Interesting. I would suggest, though, you be off quickly. I don't know how long they'll stay there once they realize it does not have the most friendly accommodations. Of course. Very good. Good day! And he vanishes. I'll get my stuff together and head off to the temple. Okay. Uh, you two were going to the Delamrian Temple, correct? Mm-hmm. Um, so, Aravos will meet you two outside. Yeah, got a bunch of bigots in our party. <laughs> Morning, friends. It's the racism total poem. Oh, did you <laughs> oh. know where and it's all the we non-humans. Were? I'm sure you've mentioned it once or twice when we were, were discussing our plans for the day. I suggest we make uh, great haste and get on with our... What are we, we reckless we needs that gem for the scrying spell, no? I don't know what the delay is. We should... Good lord. Hurry with sense that. motive even though I'm nowhere near them? <laughs> is that how blatant that was a lie? <laughs> I love that. Surely I... Heard, yeah, surely I, one of you I, said I something say about it. <laughs> I didn't say anything yesterday. Yeah. Sounds right. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Good I, lord. That phrasing spoke, was fantastic. You spoke so lowly of uh, our religions yesterday. Why, why are you here? Do well, I, did, I mean, I respect the gods like any man. It'd be a fool not to, but I'm just saying I don't think they can Didn't answer all of your... like it yesterday. I was... <laughs> I'm not a man of words, but I was merely trying to communicate that I don't believe the gods will answer all of your problems. I feel like they want us to fix our own problems. But regardless, get on with what you want to do here. I'll, I've been stuck in this town, ment- uh, not mentoring, I've been being mentored um, by Heraclus, and I'm ready to leave and get on with traveling the world and learning things. So get what you need to do here. Let's do it. <coughs> all right, just... Uh, don't distract me while I'm communing, okay? <laughs> of course, of course. Okay. The two of you can step into the temple. This is a very, for a temple, this is very lackluster. Um, it looks more like somebody set up like a, um, like a barn of sorts almost. Um, the floor is like dirt and mud. Um, there's like uh, large lumps in the ground with like little nameplates uh, kind of nailed into the ground uh, where you see the lumps. Um, occasionally there are like dug up holes um, in the ground uh, where like perhaps something is about to rest or has rested. Um, I feel like I don't really care what a temple looks like. It To me it's all about whether or not I can feel and speak with my goddess so i would just go over to wherever they have something set up for sasha and do my normal just kind of nothing set up for sasha this is purely a temple of delanrian all right only okay well i respect all the gods so i'll sit down and attempt to commune anyways and i feel like i would have respect enough for each god to at least like start off with like maybe trying to commune briefly with Delanrian and just like just a very like just a, a small like thing of like respect like I'm in your temple I'm going to like you know say speak to you for a little second just as you start your prayer uh, a frail looking very old dwarf moseys up to you and rests a hand on your shoulder The blessings of eternity be upon you, young one. Hello, friend. Thank you for the follow. I'll give you just a second here to deal with that. Yeah, sorry, I just had to pick her up. Um, uh, I will, like, turn to him and be like... Uh, sorry, what did you say to me? 
the blessings of eternity be upon you. Uh, I will thank him and um, ask him if he is a cleric to Delaney. I am. I am the cleric of this temple. It, it seems odd to see someone emblazoned with your brightness here. But all seek all who seek understanding are welcome here. Perhaps. Uh, thank you. Perhaps you're having a crisis of comprehension. Did someone close to you recently pass? Uh, I did have someone with the group I'm traveling with recently pass, yes. I'm, I wouldn't say we were very close yet. I, you know, I visited the other temple here and I just didn't feel at peace there. So I decided to come see how your temple is. one who is close to him here with you? I, uh, yes, I believe so. Who? I'll like motion towards, uh, Mal. I believe you were close with Arius? Was... He was in this party when I joined it. Uh, we went through a lot. And, uh, jokes aside, I, from what I understand, probably owe him my life. Well, remember that all who are lost are not necessarily gone. We can bring him back to you if you'd like. Give him his true form. Don't you want to resurrect a dragon in your temple? <sighs> no, 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 no. His Delanrian will choose his true form. What he lived in life is what he will become. Oh, he lived in life with a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not familiar with what this dragon is. But we could perhaps see what it is if we bring him back. Is is that what you're searching for? To be reunited with your lost friend? Part, part, uh... I've been trying too long to go through things on my own. Um... Uh, and I think it's time I tried a different approach. Ah, so you'd like to find out what true life is all about? I think I know what true life is about, perhaps, but perhaps you and I have different definitions of true life. Living the best life you can, keeping the world and others safe from harm, and being rewarded with life eternal. Where you can continue to make the life better for all. I can certainly get behind those first two things. But I would say eternal life, I, I do not know. Sometimes I feel the, the longer I see things in this plane, this world, the, the more I doubt that I want to be here for. Sometimes death can create a change of perspective in your return. That is the blessing of Delanrian, giving you a new vision of the world once your time in your mortal coil is through. I see. Well, if you wish to demonstrate, I would I would like to try. Try this first steps, I guess, of being more uh, spiritual. The uh, follow of Delanmain is quite simple. Revere nature and your friends and your allies and revere Delanmain. 
live the life that is proper to those tenants. And when your time comes, Delanrian will find you. And she will bring you to your life eternal. think for the moment so I would just like to learn about being more spiritual before I commit to a path. I haven't exactly felt anything quite some time. That is fair. And how about you, young lady? I have a goddess and I'm quite happy with her. Mm. <laughs> Yet... Here you are in my temple, emblazoned with the iconography of the one of all knowledge. And you still seek understanding here. Perhaps knowledge isn't everything, is it? Maybe not so, but knowledge is very important. Hmm. It has its place. Well, if I cannot help you be better in tune with the desires of Delanrian or the long-term planning for yourselves, what can I do for you here? Uh, I was mainly just looking for a place to speak with my goddess, maybe, that felt more right. Ah, well, here you're likely to fall. Your prayers to Sushat are likely to fall upon deaf, ear deaf ears. She tends not to listen in my temple. Well, she didn't tend to listen in the temple to Sashat either, so it doesn't hurt to try, right? Many are speaking more recently of her not listening. I guess it's what you get when you pray to one with such a concept of free will. Very true. Perhaps she feels there are more interesting or important matters to tend to. If she feels that way, then that's her prerogative. Then, she is a goddess, after all. Then I... then perhaps... You need not worry if things seem quiet. Oh, I never do. But you're here. I sense that you feel uncertain. Hmm, uncertain? I don't know. Maybe just the... The other temple didn't give me the feeling I was used to feeling, so I decided to try another. Doesn't mean I doubt my goddess, just means I'm looking for the right place. It may be here, it may not be here. I don't know until I come and try. Whatever you wish to tell yourself. I have others to attend to. And he, like, starts to walk away. You're the only two other people in this temple. All right, buddy boy. And he starts, like, moving some dirt around uh, underneath some of the nameplates. Um, you will find here that your prayers are still empty and alone. Okay. Jokes on them. My prayers are already empty and alone. <laughs> um... Well, the two of them are at the temple. Well, the three of them are at the temple. What are, what are the rest of you doing? Are you just waiting for them to come back? I'm gonna continue working on um, the item. Oh yeah, you're working on the second cloak of resistance, right? Yep. Are you gonna try to do it hastily? 
Um, it's gonna be the same as if I as like the other one, right? Yeah. Um, hey, Stoli makes it two days instead of four. That is correct. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do it hastily yet. Okay. Alright. Sounds good. Um, so you'll get some time in working on that, and then, uh, is anybody doing anything else? Either Zeke or Cassius? Uh, no, morning drinking. Okay. That along with doing something my uh like like my light reading. Okay. Um. So yeah, the book too. I'll bring that out also. Okay. Um. You all will then meet up later on in the day. Uh. Was there anything specific you wanted to address at the temple there, Mel? Um. Yeah, I, I might try and. You know, see if I can get in a zone. Imagine it's just still kind of awkward. Like, I might try, like, casting a darkness and sort of just seeing if I can create that moment again and just sort of futzing around with stuff. Um, but, okay. yeah. No real uh, exact plan with it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I see him looking uncomfortable and struggling. I might come over at one point and just like put my hand on his shoulder and just tell him like relax just because you don't hear anything or hear your god or goddess speaking to you doesn't mean they aren't listening. They just sometimes take their time. <sighs> well, she's been taking a very, very time on this. So. At some point, you have to start wandering. Both of you will spend your time in silence. Empty silence. And then make your way back to the party. I like the silence. Um, so, what is your plan from here? Guess, um... It sounds like um, my orc friend sort of informed us that things seem to be going well. So Muckmac is uh, due to give us an emerald. So maybe we should pick that up while we're over here. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> okay. This sounds like the best sort of plan. Uh, it's basically gonna be, uh, about a one and a half day journey, I think, to Mukmec. One sec. Let's figure out what your travel speed is. But yeah, about a day and a half to get there. Um, so let's see how your travel goes. Well, hold on. I'm meeting Pierre for the first time. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, Pierre, like, is, uh, up at the cart, kind of getting the horses, like, cleaned up a little bit. Uh, loading up the food onto the, uh, the cart. Um, he, uh... I'll offer him a hand if he's, uh, loading stuff up. Oh, uh, he greatly appreciates it. Uh, I'm not as strong as I used to be. Thank you. Eh, no problem. It's much appreciated. Uh, who, who's the new person? This... Ah, the mighty Pierre. I've heard much about you. Mighty? I... Uh, if you mean I can keep a horse under control in even the most insane of circumstances? Do you know these people... Fought a big shiny thing, and uh, I kept the horses at bay. Some they... may say you had the hardest job. Very <laughs> impressive. Thank you. Now, 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 who does anyone have claim over the seats in the back here, or may I pick my spot? 
I mean, I usually sit up front, but or closer to the front, but I guess it don't make me no never mind. I just don't think um, my legs are made for long journeys, so if there's room for everyone, good, but if not, I would hope I'd get a spot in the cart. And without anyone answering, I'll just start walking in the back of the cart <laughs> and a spot. I'm sitting down. I'll just kind of like look over at Mal real quick. Peril just kind of shrug, finish loading up the food, and then uh, hop in the the front. Want me to shoot him? <laughs> <laughs> He's just a knee, just a kneecap. So then he'll have an excuse to be sitting down. I don't know if you want me to declare it as well, but I'm also casting mage armor whenever we're traveling. Okay. But it's would it be weird to say that met far worse? In terms of demeanor and behavior. Well, at least the mage armor makes it feel like Arius is still here. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of this kind of make it feel all right? All right, let's take a really quick break. Uh, will you guys right before you guys hit the road? Because uh, I need to set up a couple of things for Aravos's character, um, including getting his oh. spell points in order on his character. And uh, we can continue from there. Sounds so, good. Five.